Removal. Step 1. Prepping for removal. Begin by disconnecting the battery. Then, use a lifting platform that is capable of raising the body separately from the wheels. Lift the body at the lifting points prescribed by the vehicle manufacturer. Removal. Step 2. Wheel Removal. Start by removing the wheel's lug nuts. Once the lug nuts are removed, carefully take off the wheel. Removal. Step 3. Brake Caliper Removal. Remove the brake caliper clip. On the right side of the vehicle, disconnect the brake sensor cable. Remove the two bolts holding the brake caliper. Remove the brake caliper and suspend to prevent any damage to the brake lines. Removal. Step 4. Disconnecting the dampening coil. Remove the fasteners and inner wheel liner to expose the rear air shock's wiring block. Remove the metal clip and plugs to the rear air shock's dampening coil. Removal. Step 5. Disconnecting the OEM air shock. Remove the lower sway bar end link nut and separate. Remove the lower air shock mounting nut. Remove the lower control arm nut. Remove the rear dash cover from the inside of the vehicle. Pull back the foam insulation to expose the air shock's top mount. Remove the airline. Remove the three top mounting nuts. It may be necessary to use a jack to remove the lower control arm bolt and the lower air shock mounting bolt. Pull down on the lower control arm and remove the air shock from the vehicle. Install. Step 1. Installing the remanufactured R0 air shock. Pull down on the lower control arm and insert the air shock into the vehicle. Insert the lower air shock mounting bolt. It may be necessary to use a jack to insert the lower control arm bolt. Install the three top mounting nuts. Install the airline. Reinstall the rear dash cover. Install the lower air shock mounting nut. Install the lower control arm nut. Reconnect the lower sway bar end link and install the sway bar end link nut. Install. Step 2. Reconnecting the dampening coil. Reconnect the plugs and metal clip to the rear air shock's dampening coil. Reinstall the inner wheel liner using the fasteners.
Install. Step 3. Reinstalling the brake caliper. Reinstall the brake pad. Reinstall the rear brake caliper. Then tighten the bolts on the back side of the caliper. On the right side of the vehicle, reconnect the brake sensor cable, then reinstall the sensor bracket bolt. Install the retaining clip. Install. Step 4. Installing the wheel. Install the wheel and tighten all lug nuts to manufacturer's specifications. Install. Step 5. Finishing the installation. Lower the vehicle to standard vehicle height from the lifting platform. Reconnect the battery. Install. Step 6. Testing. Start the engine. Wait 2 minutes. Operate the raising function of the car's electronics. Initially lower the lifting platform slowly and only completely when the vehicle rises of its own accord. Check the shock for leaks. It is strongly recommended that after this install, the vehicle gets in alignment for better performance and safety.